one, bitch. A chill, recognize, chill. It's your boy, Killer Khan. I got my boy, Big Prof. Mookie in the back right here. So basically, um, it's just a new segment that we're doing that we want to interview all our musician friends. Um, we don't have any structure to this, you know what I'm saying? No questions or nothing, so it could be the shittiest interview ever. But whatever, let's or do it. Or it would the be the best. number one best. Or the best, or the best, you know what I'm saying? I always think time. negative, this guy's the positive, right? <laughs> so we got our we got our boy today. We got our boy today, Joey. Oh, our good friend Joey from the from the band Woom. Yeah. What's up, man? What up? What up? Thanks for coming, man. Thanks for coming. We're just jamming today. Nice to meet you guys for the first time. Yeah, so Joey. <laughs> so Joey's from our, is our good friend. He's been my good friend for a while. He's uh he's in a band called Boom. Yep. And uh, you know what I'm saying? He's actually the the guy that you know put us on one of our very first chill squad live performance, you know. Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was uh, yeah, I mean, that was cool. That was a cool mm -hmm. show. You guys. Uh, yeah, that was a very good. Like, show. I think it was the best time we ever played that series of shows was uh, for your guys to show me back. You guys, it was a lot of fun. You heard that yeah, right here. Yeah. The best yeah. ever. <laughs> this guy instant. It's like a commercial. <laughs> yo, you heard it yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I mean? Like, yo, I appreciate that. No, no, it was good. Like honestly, like uh, and all your friends came out too, which was was like a lot more than I could say for some of mm -hmm. the other guys. Not that we were like really aiming for that, but it's just well, obviously we were, but like every Wednesday night consistently, like some people, you know, just bring out a couple people. Which yeah. cool. but you guys like had that place like rocking. It was sweet. And we played. Was it that night we played yeah. two sax solos? We had two yeah. sax solos yeah. yeah. on that. Yeah. He was dueling yeah. sax, man. Dueling sax. Yeah, yeah. Just playing the sax. There's um. There's a. Uh, where's her name? Sarah. She was a. Uh, she's a uh, music teacher and a musician, and I think she was working at the atrium for a little bit as well. She still works there. Yeah, yeah. No. She like, still works there. She also plays the flute too. Yeah, yeah. The flute yeah, and the uh, the tenor sax. And so she was there. And I'm not sure if John Boone was there that night or not. John Boone was, was there. he there? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah I remember that. So we jammed him the week before on Harmonica. He's an excellent, excellent play. You should guys should definitely check him out. Mm -hmm. um, but he, uh, yeah, he was he was there that night. And then you guys finished your set. Yeah. And then we jammed with Mookie, who happened to have a saxophone just right in that there. Night. <laughs> and then Sarah, who also for some reason brought her saxophone to work. And then uh, John Boone just happened to be there with his harmonica, so we just ripped some blues, and that, that was, was a night. lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So for those that don't know, like when we did our performance, when we were gonna jam with these guys, I thought we were just gonna play our beats, and then you know just rap, you know. But then uh, they're like, oh yeah, let me hear what you got, right? So then they played. And then they ended up actually we didn't even use the beat. Their their band yeah, just so jammed so and good. honestly it, it made our it years. made our songs even ten times better, man. Like, you know? So but yeah, enough about that. Like let's talk about Okay, so like boom, how long have you guys been together? Uh gee, um gosh, uh, I guess away from me sometimes. I think it's been I think it's up coming up on like two years or something now. Really? So how two oh years all together. How did you guys like start? Like how I know you guys all were like childhood friends, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I could say that, yeah. Um, no, I met, uh, we, we were in bands previous to this, mm. not in this configuration though. I think one of my first bands ever was like in high school uh -huh. with uh, Ray and Chris, who were also in the band, and this other guy, Michael Graywall, yeah. who's still really cool, lives in Ottawa. Shout out, shout out. Yeah, man, <laughs> Graywall, yeah, he's the man. Yeah. Um, and he was in this band with us, and, uh, well, you know, we were just kids in high school, and then that ended, and uh, uh, I think they graduated was the thing, and then mm -hmm. Ray and I were in the other grades. So we uh, started hanging with this other guy, Neil, and then we uh, started playing a band with him, and then uh, Carson came into that, and that eventually evolved into what is now what it means. And, yeah. But after university, Chris and I were like, uh, well, Chris, Chris kind of had like these uh, songs he was like working on and stuff, and I was kind of uh, wanted to join like another serious gigging band. And, uh, you know, we, we had played together in the past, so we started playing together, mm -hmm. and then Ray was kind of like a natural choice. I'd been in a couple bands with him before, and we knew yeah. him, and he lived in our town, so he said he would, like, fill in for a bit, because he was busy with his other band. But, uh, we just never really found someone to replace Ray, I guess. Like, we, we kept, uh, I don't mean it's not <laughs> fast, like, we, we were, we were like, okay, yeah, well, and then we'll get around to it, but, like, he just really fit, and then we were like, oh, we don't want to, actually, and mm -hmm. Ray wanted to stay, too, so. Nice. Then, uh, yeah. yeah. Then nice. I guess that's, that's. I, and you know, I've always wondered this, like, why, why'd you call yourself Woom? Oh, uh... Like, why, <laughs> woom, 
I guess, uh, I don't know, it's just a, a, a band. Coming out with band names is the hardest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. The hardest thing. They People don't cool, appreciate right? it. Yeah. They got some funny names for bands, though. Exactly. Well, like, I was going to say like, so much about you. It's like you think like yeah. music's, like writing music's the hard part. It's like it's not. It's even the band is the hard yeah. part. It's, yeah. like, uh, it's like, you need something that's like, I don't know, everyone A in the band can agree upon mm-hmm. that is like sounds cool, somehow describes the music like to everybody but differently and it has to be like easy to spell and like you know what I mean to be able to like I don't know like uh one syllable yeah <laughs> I don't know I guess it has to reflect like there's a lot there's anything and the main point is that like, everyone needs to agree on these things yeah. like uh but what was how what was the thought process why you're like oh shit boom you know like oh I don't even I don't think I remember we're thinking like it was gooey it was like creative it's like a creation was space a lot of kind of thing yeah. no no <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 judgment. We, uh, judgment here. No, we brainstormed it for a, a little while because uh, oh, I think uh, I think we just settled on that and then yeah. uh, and then like we just liked it because at first when we nice. told people the band name, yeah. they'd be like, I still got this today. Like like ooh like that like oh like that's the band name and yeah. I'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like I guess in a band name that's typically not really what you want you want something maybe that like sticks and yeah. even the word it's like it's got a W and a, and a silent B in it kind of thing yeah, it just yeah, yeah. it's not very like it's not a word that sticks it's like a blob it's mm-hmm. not a, I guess from a marketing but standpoint it sticks because yeah. people yeah. grow from it so yeah but I, I, people I, I, yeah I cool it. yeah no it's easy to remember you know like, yeah. it's nice to say you know well, yeah, like, I just kind of, at first, like, I kind of liked that reaction. People were like, oh, that's it? And I was like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. So, uh, and I just remember, like, realized that I didn't introduce you as the motherfucking bass player. No. Oh. The bass player. Yeah, of like, man you know what I'm saying? Here. Like, so, so, yeah, so, yeah, you're the, you're the bass player for your band, Woom, right? Yep. Yep. How did you decide that, like, that's what you wanted to play? Oh, uh, like, way back, like, yeah. when I first started playing was, uh, gosh, uh, I don't know, I think, like, I played a lot of instruments, that's just the one that stuck the most. I played, yeah. uh, I played, like, the piano, actually, I had, I had, my sister did music lessons when I was very young, and yeah. she's in piano, and, uh, I kind of hung around, and I had, like, a lesson before, just going way back, this right. way back. Right. But like I wasn't really interested in it. Like they were teaching me like classical exercises, and like I did, just didn't want to do that. Yeah. Like I did, didn't. So did someone? I didn't understand that was useful. <laughs> so did someone put you on to the bass, or did you kind of just stumble it somehow? And you're like, oh shit, this sounds gangster as well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> initially, yeah, yeah. Initially, uh, I didn't. Uh, as a kid, I, I wasn't that into to I think like rock music or anything. I was no, just I... listening to. I was just listening to whatever. Like I yeah. just had no preconceptions. I guess like, before that age, when right. you're like in high school, it's like mm-hmm. I'll define mm-hmm. myself with this um and uh yeah i played the trombone in school i liked that and i always yeah. thought i wanted to switch over because rock was seemed like cool i wanted to be playing that yeah. and the trombone was a bass too like a bass clef so somehow in my head that we meant like it was the same thing i guess yeah. <laughs> well it's not at all, it's not at all. <laughs> and then uh i didn't i didn't have a bass so but my mm-hmm. dad had an old les paul kicking around mm-hmm. and so i was like well like this will do and then i learned that for a bit I saved up some money and bought a, a bass off my friend Peter, my first bass. Um, and yeah, I think I think Longview was like this, like that was the first song I learned. That was like the coolest bass line from any song that I knew at, at that time in my life when I was like 13 or less. Yeah. yeah. So is there a, okay, so what, any projects that you guys are doing right now or like what what's going on for Womb right now? Oh, well, um, Anything you want to promote? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so you guys yeah. just did the video, right? Yeah, you guys want to talk a little? Yeah, bit no, about we, that? we did yeah. a we did a, a music video, yeah. which is cool. We got uh, we got that going. That was a lot of fun to make, mm-hmm. and it's it's I don't know. I guess everyone's uh, you know, making videos these days. It was a lot of it, it, I yeah. had a lot of fun making that one, and it wasn't yeah. like um. So how where where can they check it out? Like it's woo. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. it's on YouTube. It's uh, yeah. it's the single is Baby Don't Love Me. Baby yeah, Don't Love Me. Yeah, for yeah, very dope. Nasty video, so many hot women in that video. Like, yeah, gotta yeah, check yeah. that out, you know. So, yeah, um, uh, some cuties. Um, yeah, no, that was uh, that was great. We just asked all our friends to help us out on that one, and it was 
more fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and so where where where's all your social media like you wanna tell them? Oh yeah, um usually we're like on any social media, whatever would just be like official because otherwise you'll get like a little maternity. Womb so. official. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just womb official you just all all So we're on like Facebooks and uh, Everything's Twitter. the same, Twitter, yeah, Facebook. Womb official, Twitter. Womb official. At all right, so on Twitter, yeah. Instagram and all that jazz. All right. <laughs> all right. So again, like you know, we got no structure. You know, hopefully, you know, it's not too boring of an interview. But yo, can we get you to play a little something, something? Not by myself. Yeah, we got Mookie over here. You can play oh, on the saxophone. And we got we got Big Prof on oh, the motherfucking keys. keys. You know what I'm saying? But thanks for doing the first episode. You know, like oh yeah, it's, it kind of experimental. You don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen with it. But you know, yeah, it's first time. And then yeah. Love this guy, I love this guy. <laughs> it's so He's a little shy, he's a little shy, but you know, but yo, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. So we'll just do a blues and C minor.